Have you ever wanted to know how to get Samsung DeX in your car? This is the video you should watch. Let's go. Holding in my hands is the Auto Pro X, the sponsor of this video. But just because it's sponsored doesn't mean it's not awesome. With this little device plugged into your car, you can launch wireless Samsung DeX on your Android Auto screen instead of Android Auto. So I got this sent to me and it comes in this amazing little bit of packaging. It's made by Mayton. They're a Korean company. You can go check out the website in the link below. The packaging is nice and sleek. I really like how like the X or half of the X sort of folds and sort of goes through the hole. It's just, it's just nice, just clean, minimal, and this is all you need. Plus the cables that come in the box as well. Let's show you how to set it up before then showcasing some examples of the best ways to use this. So normally with Android Auto, you plug your phone in, it boots Android Auto, or if you've got a car with wireless Android Auto, same sort of process, just without any cables. But a lot of the cars don't have wireless Android Auto, especially the older sort of ones. You have to get a new car into this. So you plug this with the cables that come in the box into the USB-A slot or USB-C, depending on your car, and then the other end into here. And then you put it down. What happens from there is your screen will go black, but then on your phone, you go to the DeX menu and select Auto Pro X from the wireless DeX options. And then from there, Samsung DeX literally, literally boots on your car screen wirelessly. You can see how excited I am. <laughs> this is crazy. What you've just seen is my first initial reaction to seeing Samsung DeX on my car Android Auto screen. That is genuinely wild. Yeah, I've been wanting something like this for a while. My cousin who lives in Sydney is kind of like a, a, I don't know, very smart tech guy. And he, when he was younger with his, with his second car, his Audi, wanted to build a computer for his car. So he ripped out the module that was in there and literally built a touchscreen Windows XP computer in his car's dash, which I found crazy. You can see some of the photos as I'm putting them up, but the fact is that he built a touchscreen Windows XP module and he put custom software in there that meant he could play games, watch videos, obviously for the benefits of his passengers. But the fact I've been wanting to try something like that for ages. And thanks to this, it pretty much has bridged that gap. And now I can do it with the thing that's in my pocket. The overarching question is, why would you want to have decks in your car? I've narrowed it down to three key areas. The first one is productivity. You might think that's a little bit silly, but honestly, sometimes having some time in your car to sort of do some work can sort of reduce the, I guess, time you need to do work at home. You might be going on an hour long car journey as a passenger, casting your phone to the screen in your car gives you a bigger platform to sort of work from. Bring along some peripherals, whether that be a keyboard, whether that be a mouse, although you don't need a mouse. You can use your phone screen as a mouse. You can actually launch apps like Samsung Notes, do some work on there, browse the internet. It just gives you a bit of a platform to do a bit of work as a passenger whilst the driver is driving. And because it's wireless, you still have full control over your phone and you're not tethered to the car. You can move it around, you can leave it in your pocket. There's lots of different avenues that you can take for productivity and you can do lots of multitasking. Work on the screen on Android Auto and then also work on your phone screen and kind of have the two working in tandem. Just from something like this. The second area I've identified is for passengers and entertainment. So obviously should go without saying that this is not for the driver. So if you are launching any sort of streaming app for the driver, immediately stop using it because that's not what this is intended for. If you've got kids or if the passenger wants to sort of entertain themselves while they may be waiting or whether you're sort of sitting there parked in the car, it's a great way of being able to use the screen that's already in your car and not needing to buy extra screens or handover devices because you can launch whatever it is like YouTube on the screen there and then also be allowed to be viewed in the car. But it's not just about sort of streaming apps like music you can launch Spotify. And I know Android Auto can do that, but the fact is you can have Spotify on one side and then do something else on the other side. So it's not just gonna be limited to one thing or maps, like there's other things that can, you can do on here too. And you might think that the sound might not route through the wireless decks, 
but it absolutely does. The sound comes through crystal clear and all of the controls in the car also work as well. Take a look. Can you turn the volume up on the steering wheel? Can you change tracks? It's so good, I was just, oh, man, the brake lights of the car in front of me just went on. Just being in the car with the kids before and wanting to play music, having Spotify on and just being able to control the music from the car controls and having the visuals of the music playing on the screen as well, just gives it that extra bit of element. And the fact that I can keep the phone free and still control the touch element of Dex as well, it's just another sort of advantage of having wireless Dex in your car. And the third reason you might want to use one of these is for gaming. Again, that sounds pretty silly, but gaming reasons are definitely a valid one. It was one of the original things I loved about my cousin's build for his car. The fact that you could turn the screen that's in your car into a little portable games machine. And because you can get emulators on your phone, you can launch that on Samsung Dex and with a Bluetooth keyboard, sit in the passenger seat and play games. Keep yourself entertained on long car journeys so the passenger doesn't have to get bored. And again, I know sometimes it's okay to be bored, but the fact that you have options to sort of entertain yourself and it's all done through your phone and this little thing, I love it. I cannot stress to you enough how much I'm impressed by something like this. If you sound impressed by the Auto Pro X, I've got the links for this in the description. They did sponsor this video and thank you for sending this out to me and sponsoring the video, but I'm just so glad I was able to share this with my audience and show you something this cool. Hit subscribe because if you like decks, I've got multiple decks videos on the channel that you can go and check out. Every single way you can use decks, every type of situation decks can be used in, I've covered it. And now I've even got the car on board as well. It's just so small. Like it is the same size as my lens cap for the camera. Like, that is wild that this can allow you to use decks in your car. Anyways, see you guys in the next one. You.